Dark web crooks are now teaching courses on how to build botnets, and that could spell trouble for all of us. I'm Beth Motter here with Danny Palmer. Danny, tell us how and why these crooks are teaching botnet courses, and I guess maybe also start with what is a botnet? Well, it ultimately comes down to what a botnet is, which in the most basic form is a group of computers and other uh, internet connected devices controlled by the attackers. Uh, this can be done by you know, affecting them with malware. It can be done by simply guessing passwords. But you know, once they have that control, they basically you know, own that machine and can uh, also do, do all sorts of you know, malicious things with them. I mean, one of the, one of the sort of most common things that you know, uh, uh, in terms of in the past that were, these botnets were used for was a DDoS attack, so basically using the traffic from these to direct it to someone else to you know, overwhelm it and take it offline. But more uh, nowadays, uh, botnets are often used as a you know, leasing service to lease to other cyber criminals in order to help them load their own malware onto these machines. So if you've got your botnet and then you, you lease it out to, uh, say, a ransomware gang, they can use the access you've got from the malware you've installed on the machine to install malware on that. And then they have uh, potentially uh, uh, dozens, hundreds, thousands of potential uh, victims they can uh, do this to. Uh, it's quite a big lot. Uh, there can be a lot of money in leasing these services out for cyber criminals, which is uh, why there's, uh, there's there's this demand to learn how to do this in these online courses, which uh, it, it seems are pretty much you know, as you'd expect from a legit, legitimate online course. There is uh, you know, they pay a fee. There's some sort of video element. It seems though not with cameras on due to the nature of this space. Uh, there's there's discussion forums. There's a whole curriculum basically teaching people how to build your own botnet from scratch in order to start doing this yourself. Because uh, there is interest in this because it's a lucrative market. Because uh, botnets are always uh, in demand. Uh, they occasionally get taken down by law enforcement, things like uh, Emotet, which was taken down earlier this year, though appears to be back now. Uh, but yeah, what if there's always demand for botnets? And so people are looking to get in on this action of running them. Is there ever a legitimate or legal reason that someone would be taking a botnet course or do we do we just assume that anyone taking a botnet course already understands um the illegal activity they're they're getting themselves into yeah well ultimately when they're doing this they are taking control of these machines without the permission of the actual owner so that's obviously a bad thing and you don't want someone uh, being able to see everything you're doing on your computer which is you now obviously uh, another bad thing it's a uh, it's, it's one of those areas where it, it's almost as if they they, they the, the, one, the ones providing these might try to say oh i'm not doing the crime i'm just providing the service but though although they've had to do a crime to actually get into the back of these computers in the in the first place and it seems there are you know, plenty of people willing to uh, learn this because because the, the demand for this course as, as as detailed by the cybersecurity researchers at a recorded future which i wrote a report on this uh, fairly recently it's a uh, it, it, it just goes shows for another one of those elements where the underground forums are uh, kind of reflect uh, legitimate businesses in a way because we've all seen how there's various things online of you know, how to learn cybersecurity skills for example or how to learn coding this, is, this seems to have flipped that on its head. When if you and people, if people now have to access underground forums, there's a, this sort of uh, thing there for them to learn, and it also helps the, uh, in, for want of a better phrase, helps the buyers to know that this is uh, legitimate for them because the way these underground services work, there's you no, know, it's, it's like it's like eBay basically, there's various reviews of the, the courses, the various reviews of the instructors. So they can see that, oh, yes, this actually does work rather than somebody just saying, I am taking your money and you know, not going to teach you anything at all. So it's hard to quantify the amount of impact this actually has on uh, the number of botnets out there. But it, it's suggested by the researchers that you know, if there's more resources out for people to learn this, it's going to translate into there being more people getting involved in botnets, which is ultimately bad for everyone, really, because if there's people trying to uh, hack into your uh, computers, your networks, your servers in order to uh, you know, secretly control them, that's that's not a good thing. All right, Danny, as always, before we wrap this up, um, how do how do you and I and other individuals, how do we stay safe from falling for uh, botnets? 
One of the simplest things that people can do is make sure that they're not using simple or default passwords for uh, their accounts or in particular uh, their, their, their uh, Internet of Things devices or you know, just anything that is on their computer. Because uh, if the attackers can gain access to, say, your Windows profile just by uh, guessing that password because it's a simple password, that means it's going to help you know, become part of this. And on a more broader level, when it comes to... Uh, organizations and controlling whole networks of uh, computer systems, which could potentially turn into botnets. Things like applying security patches can really help. You know, it's still the case that many botnets, like other forms of malware, will take advantage of known vulnerabilities in order to gain access to these machines. So one of the best things you can do is, is if there's a known vulnerability and there is a security patch out there for it, apply it as soon as possible. That cuts them off at the pass and hopefully will make it much harder for uh, cyber criminals to you know, rope your computer into a botnet because you don't want it basically at the end of the day. You don't want your computer being used secretly to infect other people or you know, even get hold of your own email address, usernames, passwords, sensitive information. So it's it's all the simple things uh, we, just, we discuss a lot about saying safe, but it, it really does help. All right, Danny, there is always something new to be on the lookout for in the world of cybersecurity. And we thank you so much for always reporting on it and helping us stay as safe as we can while online. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and stick with ZDNet for all things tech.